Hey gang, what it's popping? Welcome to another reaction with Simply Style. So today I will be checking out the Beatles I Me Mine. Ooh, you all know how we do it. We go straight and see what I Me Mine is all about and know what the Almighty Beatles got for us. So straight up, gang, let's go do this together. Here we go. I'm in mine, I'm in mine, I'm in mine Now the frightened of leaving it Everyone's weaving it Coming on strong all the time All through the day I'm in mine I'm in me, Okay, okay, this is, this is amazing, this is awesome, the instrumentation and everything was just too lead and on point, and guys, like, you know, to think like, uh, to think like, uh, uh, I Me Mine song was like very timely to what, like, you know, the Beatles was going through on the, that time, like, you know, they were probably having some, like, problems, and like, probably, uh, they were having problems and uh, it was more like are we gonna stay together or we are like you know going our separate ways and all that and each band members like each one of them like you know want to like have an individual uh, recognition like aside from being together doing their thing as uh, the Beatles and at some point they all felt like man it's a uh, time like you know we all go our separate ways and like you know find our like you know individual recognition like you know and all that and uh like you know finding recognition to all their songs and like in addition they are like going in a like struggles so they are like personal lives and more of it so uh this was like you know then coming up with this i me and my and all of that and i must say that like the song is really very beautiful and judge harrison i think this is one of judge harrison's like masterpiece this is an amazing one and his voice here is absolutely great he nailed it everything about the song is very right on point you know and i learned that this like this song is uh it's kind of a complaint, like, you know, George Harrison kind of complaining towards the Beatles, like, you know, at that time, probably he was like, you know, not finding some certain things funny and like, you know, every one of them struggling and all of that. So he wrote a song, like, you know, to lay his own complaint about like whatever that is going on in the, among themselves. And there were moments of like kind of tension between the band. Each of them wants their own songs. Each of them wanted their like, you know, their own album 
like everything like it's more like they just wanted everything like in a separate way and all that like you know all the four grades was coming like you know all of them coming to the saying that oh yo it's time for us to like you know, everybody to move on let's start like you know find something else like let's move on with our personal lives and like do other things so people can also recognize me as paul mccartney and the other person like george harrison john lennon and ringo Starr. so i uh, i think it's not a bad thing it's more like uh people like you know finding uh finding themselves at a particular point in time so probably at this time this was um them finding themselves or looking for a way to like you know find themselves and uh create a voice for themselves you know i don't know if you understand what i'm saying like individually and all of that and this was really an amazing one and i kind of learned that uh this was this uh, like their last song together and uh they were all recorded all through uh technically and they finished it without okay, john lennon was the one missing on this so they weren't the beatles anymore so to tell you that like you know a lot was already going on that was a problem and things was not like in place and all of that for John Lennon not to be there, right? So um, this is like even more like it about I me, mean, mine, and all that. So um, I am going to say that this song is like a, a, a super strong song, if you ask me. Like you know, it's a kind of passing message out there, or to like you know to one another. Aside from passing message outside, they were also trying to pass message to one uh, like to themselves, like you know. And I, I will say that uh, John Lennon did a great job with the song interpretation. His voice was really very strong. Everything about the song was like crystal clear. Like it's something you can like you know easily understand. You don't even need more interpretation. The song is like you know uh, very clear. Like if you ask me, I'm going to say that the song is kind of very clear. So it's very easy for me to like you know understand that there was something going on like things were uh, things were not the way it used to be like things <laughs> yeah things were not the way it used to be and um and the song kind of made reference to like you know selfishness right uh being self-centered and, and individualistic you know probably he might have uh, experienced one or two things for him to like you know come up with that like you know people being self-centered being selfish and uh, individualistic and all that so it's something he might have noticed or something he may have experienced and he decided to put it down and he did a great job with it everything about the song really everything about it from the beginning to the end the instrument everything about the song is absolutely beautiful and george harrison like you know always like struck me with uh as a guy like you know who worked hard at that time or at his own craft you know whether it is the song the writing or the guitar playing which like you know which each album is in kind of um saying he was like improving at uh at a geometric you know if you notice like everything about him was also improving his guitar his writing also his like everything was just like improving and uh the progression also is absolutely amazing like if your geometric progression is totally amazing and i am going to say that uh the song was kind of well crafted if you ask me absolutely well crafted and with each like album it seemed like he wasn't kind of like you know also improving himself and every other thing around him and all that and his journey wasn't kind of like you know fascinating the song is just awesome and the song like you know really uh i think makes you uh it kind of makes you think about like you know your own life because a lot of the father it talks about like you know selfishness it talks about individualistic it talks about uh self-centered like you know so that is really like a very beautiful i mean mine is actually a very beautiful song and it's really amazing like you know reacting to it and getting to know more about it and also like you know giving you my own analysis about the song thank you so much for all your support i really do appreciate you and i am so grateful for how far like you know you guys have like you know brought me we are eleven thousand, right <laughs> subscribers i am truly blessed to have you all in my space thank you so much for being in my corner I will never let you guys down. So from me to you, here we go. See you all in my next reaction. And you know what? Bye for now.